Welcome and good morning to Rebel Morning Wood. I am your hostess with the mostest, IR Girl. And I am here with Crowner in the house. Welcome, Crowner. I was having a little trouble starting. That's why I usually don't say anything for the first couple minutes because I found that a lot of times in the morning, um, um, XSplit hasn't been working for me. So I, um, unless I see my Morning Wood uh, sign pop up. I, I don't say anything because it, it kicks me offline. But thank you for joining me. Um, I've decided to change the time to about 8.30ish um, for a couple reasons. Uh, it gives me a little bit more time after my kids are out of the house to kind of search through the gaming news of the day. I'd like to say that I'd like to do it the night before, but I don't. I game. My kids go to bed. I go and game. That's kind of what I do. Um, <clears throat> so... But welcome, Crowner. I appreciate you dropping in again. It's nice to um, see you. Hopefully Andy will drop in, one of my other uh, regulars. And um, today I have um, something very special that um, I want to talk about. And um, I see he just woke up on Facebook. I'm going to change the screen here. You guys are just going to have to um, deal with it. Today is my oldest son's birthday. He is 24 years old. He is my firstborn. And I'm in love with him. He's such a great guy. And he's single. But no girl can have him yet because he's still doing, um, I think he's got a couple more years of being single before he jumps back into a relationship. So girls, stay away. Um, he is very much an entrepreneur like myself. Um, Epic Life, the hat pictured on his head, is his own clothing brand. There's the biggest love of his life, his 240, um, right there. And uh, he, is, um, he is awesomely wonderful. Uh, welcome to chat, Mr. Drunk Ninja. Um, Rob uh, is also the vice president of... Um, of Rebel Gaming, so I must I must throw that out there. So as we go along, I'm going to show some older pictures of him, which he's probably going to kill me for. <laughs> this is Rob when he was going through his long hair stage. He would actually borrow my hot iron to do his hair. Um, I remember once my hot iron broke. He um, uh, he literally almost threw a tantrum because um, he didn't have it to do his hair, and. Um, so I thank you, God, that that stage is over with. And moving along here. Here he is with a, with a little bit more longer hair. We'll just uh, blow this up a little bit more for you. Um, that's when I worked at the bowling alley, I think. He'd come in and get free pizza and stuff. Um, a little bit thinner there, I think, too, Rob. Hmm. Might, it might be putting on a little bit of weight. <laughs> and uh, here he is at... Um, <clears throat> we went to see... Um, the walking dinosaurs or something in New York and this is I actually have all of the kids wearing these freaking hats and <laughs> Rob wore one too so he appeases his mother every step of the way here is my baby when he was going through his bull haircut stage um, 99 he made that for me in school it still hangs on our tree every year um, cute little dimple when he was so innocent and uh, so young and Last but not least, uh, Rob is a big skater, though, and uh, we spent many years. Me and Rob actually had a skate clothing company called Not Rob Inc., and uh, named after him. And we got the name for it because uh, he had asked me once, we were driving home in the car, and he asked me once if I ever came into a lot of money, would I, um, would I, uh, like, what would I do with it? I said, oh, I'd open up a huge skate park, indoor-outdoor skate park. And he goes, oh, that's cool. You could call it, like, Rob Skate Park. And I said, no, I won't. I would call it not Rob Skate Park. And so there we go. So happy birthday to my firstborn and my oldest son. And I love you very much. And you are the most wonderful person um, in my life. And I thank you for... Um, helping me run Rebel Gaming, and I thank you for uh, pushing me. Um, he is, honestly, people don't realize it, he is a lot of times the light at um, the end of the tunnel for me. So, um, happy birthday, baby. I love you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. So, 
now. And I did that without bawling. So you guys should all be very proud of me. Because <laughs> everybody, if you know me and if you've known me for years, you know that my kids are everything to me. Um, they are the reason I breathe and I exist. So, um, yeah, and he's um, pretty, pretty damn awesome, even when I, I want to rip his head off. Um, he's still pretty damn awesome. So, and he's so fucking good looking because he gets it from me. <laughs> so, okay, and moving on. I'm sure you guys didn't show up here, all five of you, whoever's here in chat with us, um, to hear about Rob's epicness. So, um, <clears throat> moving on, though. Um, I've decided to finally take the plunge back into MMO gaming. Um, I gamed many years um, on a game called Kings of Chaos. Uh, Drunk, Drunk Ninja knows that one. That's uh, <laughs> Drunk Ninja says that. Oh, that's exactly why he came was to hear about Rob. <laughs> I'm sure. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna screen cap that, and I'm sure I'm gonna tweet that out there later for Rob, so that he knows that the only reason <laughs> you came to the chat room as early as you did was to see Rob, or to, to, to hear me talk about Rob and see his pictures. <laughs> so yay. Um, I've been wanting to um, get back to um, uh, some MMO gaming. And uh, I, I, I've always um, been intrigued with one that uh, many people that... Um, that uh, played the game Kings of Chaos with me. They also played Guild Wars, and a, a, a big group of them, and I, they probably still do. And so that was the one game I think that kind of intrigued me. And um, somebody that I know that I've been following on Twitter for uh, God three years now. He, probably one of the he was one of the first ten followers that I followed. Um, uh, Dusty Monk. He is um, senior developer at Robot Entertainment. And um, he's uh, also uh, made his own game. Um, so he's, he's, he's got a lot, of, um, a, lot of, a lot of credibility under his belt. Uh, let me see. He's uh, the former president of Windstorm Studios, which was his own studios. Um, he created Atomic City Adventures, The Case of the Black Dragon. Um, he's also the former senior programmer for Ensemble Studios. He worked on Age of Empires, Halo Wars, and but the thing that I love about him, I think the most, that in getting to know him, was how much he likes Guild Wars. And he has a blog, and I've been following it for the three years that I've followed him now. Um, and it's almost like reading a novel when you read his posts about Guild Wars. They're so intricate and they're so wonderful. So I figured. You know, I didn't always have the time to play it or delve myself. My biggest fear, in, and Drunk Ninja can um, back me up on this, is that when we played Kings of Chaos, I would literally uh, arrange my daily schedule around certain events going on. Wars, uh, money being banked, uh, having to destroy accounts. <laughs> there were times that I would actually have my kids log into my account and go, bank my gold for me just so that somebody else wasn't taking it. But, um, and I know how addictive they can be, and I do have a very addictive personality, so that was my one fear, but I miss it. I miss um, MMO gaming, so this time I decided to stay away from the text space. And, oh, you know what? I'm sorry, I just had to stop, because Drunk Ninja says, oh, and trying to be like me. Please, give me a break. We don't even want to start this argument, dude. Okay, when I came onto the scene, your time was over. You were like, you were a legend, and you, you still are with the, the scattered few. But I am a legend in that game in my own right that I had seven alliances mass attack my account to get me out of the game because they hated me. <laughs> so you, you want to go nose to nose. They hated you as well because <laughs> you guys were probably about as ruthless. So, but, um, but yeah, Drunk Ninja... Um, had a had a clan um, before mine came into um, into the light that uh, was pretty notorious, and yeah, I know, and it, and it worked. He says in, he says in channel that you know I only did that to fire you up, right? And even what twelve years later, it's been 
has it been 12 years since I've played Kings of Chaos? I don't know. It's been a long time. But, um, but yeah, so um, I'm going to delve into um, Guild Wars finally. Um, uh, I just, I'm able, I think because of the fact that I know so many people that play it, um, and that, um, like I said, I'm going to link you to um, Dusty's um, site here, and then um, on the YouTube page I will as well. Um, if you want, if you haven't played this, or if you do play this and you haven't discovered his blog, um, it's probably one of the best, uh, and I don't like to say Guild War blogs, it's probably one of the best blogs out there um, to kind of help you along. Um, it's, um, he writes so well about it um, in some of the things that he does that uh, that's what I've been kind of reading um, in some of my very little free time that I do have. Um, and I think what I'm going to start doing, though, is uh, weekly uh, up on RebGaming.com, I'm going to write kind of a, an experience from very much a noob going into the game and uh, how I come along. And if you hear any noise behind me, it's my, um, it's my little black cat, Night Fuhrer. Yes, his name is Night Fuhrer. And he's trying to fit himself in a box that he can't fit into. So that's the ruckus behind me. But, um, but yeah, so I'm, uh, I guess I'm going to be um, starting that this week. Um, Yes, Drunk Ninja, I will be role-playing in Guild Wars. And f I think for the first time ever, I am not going... My MMO name in, in... My PC gaming name is Viv Lady, and it has been for years. I don't know that I will be playing her name. Because I don't know how I'm going to play this game yet. In, in every PC game I've played, MMO-wise, I have always... And Viv Lady name is synonymous with bad words. <laughs> I when I left Kings of Chaos, I literally Google searched for like on the hundredth page a game. This is where I met the admin of Rebel Gaming, actually, um, Will. Um, in another game, I thought in a million years there's not I mean one person that knows me in this game. I'm going to start, I'm going to go play this game. It was like, it was text-based and mixed with something else. I said, I'm going to go play this game. Nobody's going to know who I am. A fresh start. And I swear to God, there was two people there that knew me. And the minute they said, I was like, fuck. And they did. They said, why are you here? What are you doing? So then it was obvious I had to play Viv Lady as an evil bitch woman. And that's exactly what I did. Two weeks into it, I teamed up with... Um, a friend of mine, and we literally um, ravaged two of the biggest clans of all their armory <laughs> and everything they owned and sold it off. <laughs> so, and then I was kicked out of the game. So, <laughs> so it only took me two weeks. But, but so that's why I'm kind of up in the air whether I should, because um, I know a lot of people from Kings of Chaos that do play Guild Wars. Um, and I swear to you, I know it sounds funny, but if you, if any of you that are listening have play MMOs, you're going to understand this. When you make a name for yourself in, in a way that is not righteous, there will be somebody in this game that will see Viv Lady name and go, oh my god, there she is, what the fuck is she doing here? Do you know what I mean? So I don't know if I should go into this with a whole fresh name and not tell anybody and just sort of play this game on my own. Maybe I'll put it up to a vote. Or if I should just say, fuck this, I'm Viv Lady, I'm playing this game, back off. I don't know. What do you think, Ninja? I know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, I guess, leave it open. I'll put it on my Facebook page, um, um, facebook.com slash I-R-G-R-L. I'll put it up for a vote there as well. Um, <laughs> 